this job is new. It just came up a few days ago. It also has a wide range starting at 49,000 at the G7 level. So that makes it entry level friendly. And for those of you who have some experience, that means there's higher level positions available for those of you who do. If you have more experience and have a degree or certifications or a combination. So let's go down and look at those responsibilities. This one is talking about cloud. So there's more mention of cloud. There's some programming involved, as I mentioned, it's API, and there's some QA involved. You definitely want to look for that job that's going to offer you the opportunity to learn a variety of things because it's so useful when moving around in the industry. Going down to the requirements again with the G7 level, just that one year graduate level education or degree completed or the IT experience or combination. And you can go down the list if you have more experience, higher level education, programming experience, they're looking for Python and SQL. Be sure to submit all the necessary documentation and good luck to you. This is also for the CDC in the enterprise department as IT specialist. This job was also posted recently. And as we can see, it has almost the same specifications as the other one. So as we've seen before, the job requirements and duties may be a little different. So as we can see here, there's some cybersecurity related, cloud related responsibilities, API, QA. So this one is pretty much like the other one, but it's just a slightly different subsector in this enterprise architect division. So now you have a few jobs that are pretty similar, same qualifications that you can apply for. So unlike other jobs in the corporate and private sectors, these jobs in government have the application deadlines. And one of the keys to get in when there's low competition is being one of the first applicants. This next job is an IT specialist. Please note, this application deadline is coming up. It's right around the corner on the 17th. This was recently posted and it's going to end soon. Do not sit on this. Here is the job number and the URL. I will put a link to this so that you can apply for it right away. It is for the National Institutes of Health. Going down, we can see the salary starts at 59,000 and goes up to over 140,000. That means there is a large qualification range here. It is remote and it's a permanent job. It's not contract with a full-time schedule. The security clearance says other, so we may need to dig into that. They may want you to have the ability to obtain a clearance. Here are the qualifications. It includes having a PhD in tech or some STEM or three years of graduate level education that will lead towards it or an IT related combination of paid or unpaid. So that includes your internships as part of the qualifications. They will consider your work in both public and private corporate sectors, but they want to make sure that you have the soft skills here, attention to detail, customer service, problem solving. And it says you will need to have at least one year of specialized experience. For the education, it states here a master's degree in tech or two years of progressive experience. This is at the lowest level. So for each level, it will tell you or some combination of experience. And since the security clearance says other, and as you can see here, there is a name of a contact here to assist you with applying for that application. One of the best ways is to get on their website, create an account, get on their mailing list so that you can be in the know when those jobs are posted. So let's get into it and let me know if you plan on applying. The next job is an IT program manager for the CDC again. And this came up just last month and it starts at 49 and goes up to $186,000. So this is a big range here. So as we can see, it starts at a GS7 level. So that leads me to believe that this is somewhat of an entry level supervisory role. So I'm curious to see 
what the requirements are that this is a program manager that has such a low starting range. So let's look and see. Going down again, we can see this is a remote job. It's open to the public and there is no security clearance required. If we look at the responsibilities, you're going to be providing technical guidance, implementation and oversight. You're assessing security risks. You're going to be developing models and requirements as well as preparing reports and so forth. For the G7 level, it starts at one year of graduate level education. All right, so this does not say technical level graduate and it says one year of it. If you completed just one year of graduate level education, but you didn't finish for whatever reason, you meet the requirement already. Superior academic achievement usually applies to a bachelor level degree at a 3.0 GPA grade B or higher, or one year of specialized experience in those IT responsibilities, and it includes here, such as telecommunications, and a combination of education and experience. So if you have a lower level degree, a bachelor's degree that was already completed, and you had a 3.0 grade B or higher, or if you did do graduate school, you did one year of it, and or you did one year of this IT related experience, you qualify, you can get in on this. Okay, so don't don't wait. This was posted at the end of last month, a couple of weeks ago. So go ahead and apply for that. And going down the list, this just lets you know if you will qualify for a higher salary. Okay. And remember to include your information. Here it explains what superior academic standing means and the usual information that it includes as far as the required and how to apply. So go ahead and apply for that. And with all of the breaches and hackings that we are seeing, you are not going to have to worry about finding a job. This next job is an IT specialist for their security division. If we go down here, we can see that this just opened recently. So make sure you get on top of that. This job is going to close at the end of the month. Once they have 150 applicants, they will close before then. So don't wait. This is a remote job. It is permanent full time. Security clearance is not required. These are the duties here. You have to have knowledge of React, continuous integration, continuous delivery. You have to have experience with APIs. You have to understand the most effective way to perform your task. And going down to additional requirements, they are looking for a specialized experience of at least one year. You have to be able to demonstrate that you did exactly one year at least in all of the areas below. Make sure you tailor your resume to support and back up the specialized experience that they are looking for. And they tell you that here, your resume must show clear and convincing evidence of the specialized experience requirements. Applicants with the following certifications will definitely stand out here. And as you can see, there is no education, no degree required for this job. This is all your experience and the certifications. They tell you how to apply and there is a contact person if you have further questions. If you're looking for job security, you might want to consider working in government. This job is an IT specialist in the information security sector. Was posted on the 12th and will be available until January. The salary starts at 59,000 and goes up to over $180,000. It's open to the public. It is remote, no security clearance required. And going over to the duties we have here, the technical guidance, implementation, you are assessing security risks and vulnerabilities. You have to be knowledgeable of the latest IT technology. You need to know some programming and some QA, as we've seen in other similar job posts. We have our soft skills listed again. We have for the lowest level to get your foot in the door, you need at least two years 
of higher level graduate education or one year of specialized experience as we just described or some combination of education and experience and if you have a lot more experience than that then you'll be glad to know there are higher level positions so that you can aim for a higher salary as you can see going up the ladder they still want the one year specialized experience and all those higher level skills and responsibilities that they've listed in the previous sections and for the education just make sure to include your transcripts Okay, so here is the contact information if you have any questions about the job post and information. Like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more jobs.